Hello everyone, welcome to Pabli Connect. Today in this video, we are going to integrate two software applications, ClickFunnels and Google Sheets. So the use case here is, whenever a new contact is created in ClickFunnels, automatically add new row in Google Sheets. Now let us know what these two software applications are all about. So ClickFunnels is a website and sales funnel builder, whereas Google Sheets is an online spreadsheet program. So the issue here is, that ClickFunnels and Google Sheets don't have any integration between them. And that is why we are going to use Pabli Connect. So this Pabli Connect is an integration software which will help you to transfer data from ClickFunnels to Google Sheets. The best part here is you don't require any knowledge of coding. So let me show you this on my screen. Okay, so here I am at Google and now I will go to this URL section over here and I'm going to type pabli.com. Okay, so this is the website of Pabli and now I will hover over this product section from here and I'm going to click on connect. Okay, so now I am going to sign into my account. Okay, so now because I've already signed into my account, that is why I am here. You can also sign up for free and create your free account in just two minutes. Here, I would like to mention one more thing. You can try out this integration in Pabli Connect absolutely free. So if you want, you can create your account right now and set up your own automation. The link is available in the description box below the video. Okay, so now I will scroll down and here at Connect, I am going to click on Access Now. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect and now we are going to create a new workflow by clicking on this button over here. Okay, so now I'm going to give a name to this workflow. Click funnels to Google Sheets. Now I'm going to create this. Okay, so now in this workflow, I am going to integrate click funnels with Google Sheets using Pabli Connect. So first I am going to integrate click funnels with Pabli Connect. Then I will integrate Google Sheets with Pabli Connect. So now here in choose app, first I am going to choose click funnels. Now in trigger event, according to our workflow, whenever a new contact is created in ClickFunnels, we want to add new row in Google Sheets. That is why new contact created will be our trigger event over here. Now you can see we have various other trigger events available. You can select whichever trigger event you want according to your choice. And if you don't get the trigger event of your choice, you can contact our team at admin at the rate and our team will help you. So now I'm going to click on new contact created because this is my trigger event. Okay, so now you might have a question in your mind that what is this term called trigger? Let me explain you that automations run on the concept of triggers and actions. It is all about when something happens, do this. For example, when a sale happens, send an email. In our case, whenever a new contact is created in ClickFunnels, we want to add new row in Google Sheets. That is why new contact created in ClickFunnels will be our trigger event, whereas adding new row in Google Sheets will be our action event. So now when you choose an app and choose the trigger event, you can see this term called webhook URL appearing over here. So what is webhook? Webhook is an essential way to get data from an external software at Pabli's end. So this webhook helps you to build a connection between the trigger software application and Pabli Connect. So now after choosing the app and choosing the trigger event, what we do is we copy this webhook URL from here and we go and paste it inside the trigger software application, which is ClickFunnels in our case. Okay, so now I'll go to my ClickFunnels account. So this is my dashboard of ClickFunnels and here I'm going to click on ClickFunnels here. You can see funnels. So I've already created some funnels over here. Okay, so you can see I have a funnel that I created that is testing. Okay, so now I'm going to open it. Okay, so now we are going to follow the instructions written in Pabli Connect. So navigate to settings, go to webhooks and click manage your funnel webhooks. Okay, okay, so you can see settings option over here. So now I'll go down and you can see webhooks over here. So I'm going to click on manage your funnel webhooks. Okay. Then click new webhook button, copy the webhook link above and paste it under URL field. So I'll copy this URL from here and now I'm going to add new webhook and I'll just paste it here. Okay, after that, 
choose contacts created from event section. So here in event, I am going to select contact created. Then choose JSON as an option in adapter section. Okay. So here in adapter, I am going to choose JSON. Okay. So now I'm going to create the funnel webhook. Okay. So we have successfully created this funnel webhook. Now I'll go back to Pabli Connect. Okay. So now we are going to capture the webhook response. Okay. So now it is waiting for webhook response. That means it is time to go and create a new contact. So I'll go back to my click funnels and here you can see this option visit funnel URL. So I'm going to click on it. Okay. So we have our landing page over here and I'm going to create a new contact by entering details over here. So enter your name. I'll enter a name over here. Olivia de Souza email Olivia at the rate gmail.com get access now. Okay, we have successfully created a new contact called Olivia de Souza with the email Olivia at the rate gmail.com. Now I'll go back to Pabli Connect. Okay, so you can see Pabli Connect has already captured the data over here. You can see contact IDs here, page IDs here, first name, last name, full name is here, email is here. Okay, you can see the funnel ID, funnel step ID. Okay, so we have successfully integrated ClickFunnels and Pabli Connect here. Now I'm just going to save this information. Okay, so now we have successfully finished our first step integration that is integration of ClickFunnels and Pabli Connect. Now I'm going to begin with our second step integration where we are going to integrate Google Sheets and Pabli Connect. So I'm going to click on this plus button and I'm going to add an action step over here. So here in choose app, I am going to choose Google Sheets. Okay, now in action event, according to our workflow, whenever a new contact is created in ClickFunnels, we want to add new row in Google Sheets with all the information. That is why add new row will be our action event over here. Now you can see we have various action events available. You can select whichever action event you want according to your choice. And if you don't get the action event of your choice, you can contact our team at admin at the rate pabli.com and our team will help you. So now I'm going to click on add new row. Okay. Now I'm going to connect with Google Sheets. Okay. Create new or select existing credentials. If you have any existing credential like this, you can directly click on it and you can go ahead. But here I am going to click on new credentials. Okay. Now before connecting with Google Sheets, I'm going to go to my Google Sheet and I'm going to create a new spreadsheet. So I'll go here, go to Google Sheets. Okay. So I'm going to create a blank spreadsheet over here. Okay. So I'm going to name it as click funnel contact details. Okay, now I'm going to create some field heads over here. So first is going to be name. After name, I'll put contact ID, email, created time, date. After that, I'll also need the funnel ID. Okay. So I have created all these fields over here. I'll just extend these fields. Okay. So I have created these five field heads over here and I want the information to get stored here in new rows. Okay. So now I'll go back to Pabli Connect and now I'm going to connect with Google Sheets. So here you have to choose the account where you have already created your Google Sheets. So I'll choose my account. I'll allow it. You don't have to worry about your data. It is 100% safe and secure with Pabli Connect. Okay, so now you can see we have some data over here. You can see it has already mapped the spreadsheet name. My spreadsheet name was ClickFunnels Contact Details. The same has come over here. And here you can see it was Sheet 1 and you can see it has mapped Sheet 1 automatically. And you can also see the field headings are the same as our Google Sheet field headings. Name, contact ID, email, created time or date, funnel ID. So now we are going to map the information that we have got from our webhook response. Okay. So first is name. Let me map the full name over here. So we have the full name over here. Okay. If you want, you can also create separate field headings like first name and last name. And then you can map first name in separate field and last name in separate field. Contact ID. Let me map the contact ID. It is here. 
email okay i have the email over here created time so you can see both are here time and date so i'll just map it funnel id let us map the funnel id we have the funnel id okay now i'm going to click on save and send test request so we have got our api response that means we have successfully finished the integration of click funnels and google sheets i'll just save this okay so now let's go to our Google Sheet and see if a new row has been added there with all the information or not. So I'll go to my Google Sheet. So you can see I have all the details over here. You can see the name is here, Olivia D'Souza. Contact ID is here. Email is here. Created time and date both are here. Funnel ID is also here. So we have successfully finished our integration and our integration is working fine. Now I'm going to show you this process again with one more example so that you can understand how this integration takes place in real time. So I'll go back to my ClickFunnels landing page. So I'm going to create a new contact here. So I'm going to enter the name as Darius. Okay, enter your email. I have the email, get access. Okay, so we have successfully created a new contact. Now I'll go back to my Google Sheet and let's see if a new row has been added there or not. I'll go to my Google Sheet. Okay, so you can see we have the information again. The name is here, contact ID is here, email is here, created time and date and funnel ID is also here. So we have successfully finished our integration and our integration is working fine. Now I'll go back to Pabli Connect and I'm going to explain you what has happened in our example. I'll just minimize this. Okay, so in our example, what has happened is first the information came from ClickFunnels to Pabli Connect. Then from Pabli Connect, the information went to Google Sheets. So now every time a new contact is created in ClickFunnels, Google Sheets will have new row automatically created. So we have successfully finished the integration of ClickFunnels and Google Sheets using Pabli Connect. Not just these two software applications, but you can integrate any software application using Pabli Connect. If you have any queries, you can contact us at admin at the rate and our team will help you. For more, you can also visit our website at www.pabli.com. Thank you.